Let's take a look at this problem. We start at city A, travel to city B, and then to city C. We know something about the bearing of each of these uh, trips. Part of what needs to be understood here is what it means when somebody says that it's a bearing of south 45 degrees east. So you look south and move 45 degrees towards the east, so that's where we're getting this 45 degree angle. We're told that it takes 2.5 hours traveling 58 miles per hour to go from A to B. So we can find that length by taking the 2.5 hours times the 5, 58 miles per hour. We're then told that we turn to north 70 degrees east. So you look north and move 70 degrees to the east and so now we're traveling off in this direction. We're told that it's going to take three hours to go from B to C. I'm going to assume that they're meaning that we're still going 58 miles per hour. So we can find the distance from B to C by three times in the 58 miles per hour. Now what we want to find is the distance from A to C. So we do have a triangle here. Let's just see what measurements we can find on the triangle. So far we know the length of from B to C, we know the length from A to B, we know some pieces of angles that we might be able to finish off the rest of the story with. You can see that this angle is also going to have to be 45 degrees because these two lines, these two north-south lines would be parallel. We know that this is 45 and this is a transversal so alternate interior angles say that those two would be equal. That means that this angle in the triangle is 115 degrees. That's enough information to use the law of cosines because we know the length of two sides. We know an angle will be able to find the third side. This is the way that I like to remember the uh, law of cosines. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared would be the Pythagorean theorem. So if A and B are the two sides that make up the angle that we happen to know and that angle is not a right angle, then I'll need to have this fudge factor to adjust things a little bit. In our problem, the things that we know are this length, I'll call that what corresponds to A in this formula, this length, I'll call that B in this formula and and that angle that's formed by those two is 115 degrees. So therefore I'll be able to find this value up here. Um, I'll be able to find this value up here by the law of cosines now because we know the length of one side that makes up the angle, the length of the other side that makes up the angle, so I'll just take that squared plus uh, the other length squared minus 2 times that length times this length times the cosine of this 115 degrees is going to be equal to the c squared uh, where this side right here is the the piece that we're finding with the the c squared. I'll leave the rest of those calculations to you.